Where does it start? The desire to create. What drives us? Is it genetics? The intricate blueprint encoded within our DNA, guiding our hands and hearts towards the act of creation? Or perhaps it's the echoes of the past. The whispers of ancestors urging us forward. Their unfulfilled dreams finding form in our hands and shaping our destinies. Or is it the environment that surrounds us? The raw materials of inspiration woven into the fabric of our everyday lives. The gentle lapping of waves against the shore. The rhythmic hum of the city streets. The silent majesty of towering forests. Each whispering their own tales of creation. Asking, no, begging us to join in the eternal dance of making something from nothing. Perhaps it's because they speak to something deep within us, something primal and ancient, woven into the very fabric of our being. The act of building a boat represents not just a means of transportation, but a symbol of exploration and adventure, tapping into our innate curiosity and thirst for discovery. And so we find ourselves here, on the precipice of creation, embarking on a journey as old as humanity itself. So join me as we embark on this grand adventure together, bound by nothing but our shared humanity and the timeless quest to create something beautiful from the chaos of this world. In this video series, you will follow along with me as we build a Pelicano 18 designed by Sam Devlin from Olympia, Washington. As my father and I take the ferry on our way to get our raw materials from the lumber yard, I'm reminded of what I read this morning in Sam Devlin's book titled, Devlin's Boat Building Manual. He writes, Few things are more magical than transforming a rough pile of wood into a functional, graceful, and beautiful boat. For me, this is the essence of creative expression. It is like creating life. Anything that has a person sweat over it, bleed on it, curse at it, and experience joy with it, is laced with the spirit of all that labor and emotion. That spirit forever inhabits the boat, and it is a living thing. Once we were back at the shop, we spent plenty of time poring over the plans. While we have plenty of experience with construction, this is our first time building a boat, and we wanted to make sure we had everything right before we got started. We even had the opportunity to take a tour of Sam Devlin's shop while he was in the process of building a Candlefish 18, a center console version of the Pelicano. After we'd asked every question we could think of, and we got the sign off from the man himself, we were ready to get started lofting and cutting out bulkheads. Lofting is a process of making lines across the whole of the plywood sheet at one foot increments, then using the plans to make marks at each of those lines. The end result is a set of points, which each get a nail. When you hold a lofting stick against the nails, you can replicate the curvature called for in the plans.
With Dad making great progress on the bulkheads, I turned my attention to preparing for the upcoming task of scarfing the plywood for the hull of the boat. Making a scarf joint in plywood essentially makes an extreme bevel in the forefoot end in order to combine multiple pieces of plywood together by gluing them with epoxy and creating one long continuous piece. This ensures that once you put the strips across the bulkheads, you have the proper curvature of the hull. There are multiple ways to create a scarf joint. We chose to use the router method. In order for it to be effective, you need to build a jig that holds the plywood at a certain angle. Then you can pass the router back and forth over each piece to create the scarf. We took several days to get all 12 scarfs completed. My back just couldn't take the abuse for too long.